Anywho, I have a table. So, Xavier, I'm, I'm with you. Trust me. Now I'm going to my camera. I did a camera before in this view. Curious. That's the thing. So now the issue of materiality is that we need to be able to place it. Now you might be looking for materials here once you have uploaded to the or loaded to the project, but it's not here. You need to be in the edit family uh, component where you created the different extrusions or sweeps or anything and select the different objects and search for the material option here. Okay. Okay, so we like glass. Uh, new material, rename, I call it a base, or it could be metal. And you can bring. Go to metal, aluminum, for example. Updating. So when you see this thing, it looks, you know, with the two materials, you can save it, load it to the project. And there is. Okay, so you have the two materials. Uh, again, you don't um, try to assign materials here on the project. You go to edit family, and then you go, if you have 15 pieces, you can go one by one. You can either select the standard ones, or as I did, uh, create your own new material, select from the, from the ones you've done, from the material library and assign them, save it, load into the project. As you change, make sure you always just override the parameters. So it updates basically the link. So in terms of the Revit one, let me see. Are we in good shape there, uh, Sabida? Yeah, I, I understood this one. Perfect. Now Rhino, that's a tough one. Now uh, I did, everybody got the, let me stop this.